that means God can kill because of you. And um, <laughs> everyone that loves this great God, you're already too dangerous for any enemy to handle. I don't like the way you are responding. Can you raise your hand and declare and declare and say, I am too dangerous for any enemy to handle? Read on, sir. Fill thine horn with oil. Fill thy horn with oil. And go. And go. I will send thee to Jesse the Bethlehemite. I will Bethlehemite. send you to where you can find a willing servant. An obedient servant. A place where you will find somebody willing to, to, to celebrate me and appreciate me. I don't know if you know that G, David found time to worship the Lord how many times a day? Seven times a day. Some of us don't have that kind of time. We're too arrogant. We're too busy with ourselves to find time to worship this great God. But David would create time and would honor this great God and adore him and celebrate him. And we now we we'll know that God can reject a man and choose whoever is more loyal and more submissive and more honest and more hardworking and more diligent and more disciplined. Read on, sir. For I have provided me a king among his sons. I have provided me a king among his sons. And Samuel said, How can I go if so <laughs> hear it? He will kill me. And the Lord said, Take an high fire with thee and say, I am come to sacrifice to the Lord and call Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show thee what thou shalt do. And thou shalt anoint hey, Can you see that this our God is also our advisor? He's our counselor. He's also our protector. He's also our provider. I want to announce with all these uh, promises to help you, to assist you, to inform you, to counsel you. You cannot be a failure. Yeah. <sighs> Raise your hand and declare, and say, I shall not be a failure. <laughs> Read on, sir. Thou shalt anoint unto me whom I name unto thee. Yes. And Samuel did that which the Lord spake, and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Comest thou peaceably? And he said, Peaceably, I come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called to them the, to the sacrifice. And it came to pass when they were come that he looked on Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance. Look or, not on his countenance. Or on the height of his stature. Or the height of his stature. Because I have refused him. I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. God does not see as man sees. For man looketh on the outward appearance. Come, come, come. I was surprised they said at the state crusade on Friday, your pastor will be one of the speakers and nobody showed excitement. It's like you are angry. It is on record I did not apply to be the speaker. I did not even show interest. They had to come to the house to beg me to play that role. Which means God must have uh, made the appointment. I thought you'd be clapping for me. Well... Wait, wait, wait. I'm well, not begging you. Wait, wait, wait. Whether you clap or not, there'll be miracles on Friday. <laughs> we are going to make available uh, three buses to ferry our members to and fro the venue of the program. 
I want you to attend in a dignified manner. Let our vehicle carry you honorably and carry you with a great uh, with a great sense of celebration. We honor you and we are proud of you. We are not ashamed to call you our own. The buses will take you there and bring you back. But make sure you don't come late. The whole state is preparing for that program. I would like you to sit in a place of honor. And I want you to be carried to the place honorably. Therefore, you must dress well and wear a happy smile. Let the world see you as a happy person. Do I have anybody who is a happy person in this house? Please, when you come, look like a happy person. And your Father in heaven shall be honored and be happy. And will give you the blessings of those who are grateful. And shall profit you. Read on, sir. For man looketh on the outward appearance. We look on the outward appearance. For the Lord looketh on the heart. Yes. Then Jesse called Abinadab, made him pass before Samuel, and he said, Neither had the Lord chosen this. Then Jesse made Shammah to pass by, and he said, Neither had the Lord chosen this. The, the, the miracle of this night is, many of you did not know what we were going to preach and do. But God who put together this program has a mind already to promote you to the place of honor. Yeah. We number 7,000 when we have a full house. But not everybody is here. Those who are here are those chosen by God to be promoted, to be blessed, to be catapulted to a place of honor. Therefore, I want you to be happy and be grateful and be ready to celebrate what God will do for you. You will cease to be an ordinary seeker. God is going to bring you to a place of distinction and a place of honor, a place of respect. A place where your presence shall command respect and celebration. They brought so many sons of Jesse to the man of God. And God said to him, <laughs> these words are not qualified. Read on, sir. Again, Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, the Lord had not chosen this. The Lord has not chosen this. All those who are here tonight, you're here because God has chosen to promote you, to honor you, to wipe away your tears, to turn your lamentation into laughter, to turn your disgrace into grace, to turn your disappointment into supernatural appointment. Therefore, this night you are going to have an encounter, encounter with him whose power has no measure no comparison. What a night. Many will live here transformed. Many will live here reformed. Many will live here distinguished. Are you one of them? If you believe you are, then shout hallelujah three times. Read on, sir. And Samuel said unto Jesse, I hear all thy children. Is there anybody missing? And he said, There remained yet the youngest. Behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, <laughs> Send and fetch him. Wait, wait, wait. Your father may not have seen God's hand upon your life. But that will not stop God from fighting your battles. Maybe you have been rejected by your own people. My, my silver brother asked me, how can, how can a criminal like you be forgiven for all that you have done to our father? He said to me, you, you just cannot be born again because you were born with nuisance value in a useless mind. But when the, when the fire began to Rage from being a spark to being a flame. The same man said to me, Now I know God has preferred above me. I'll treat you as my elder. 
Those who had looked down on you. No, let, let's rush to chapter, First Samuel chapter 10. Let's take verse 2, verse 3, and we'll take verse 4. Because of time. When thou art departed from me today. Okay, thou, take, take verse 1. Then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said, is it not because the Lord had anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Everyone here tonight, you are here because God wants you to be captain over his people. Yeah. A man who is captain is a man that has authority and power. A man that commands attention. And that is what God wants to do for you tonight. Yeah. I hope you will not stand on God's way. I hope you will not stop God from promoting you. Read on, sir. When thou art departed from me today, yes. then thou shalt find two men by You'll Rachel, find two men. By Rachel Sipoka in the border of Benjamin at Zeza. Yes. And they will say unto thee, the asses which thou wentest to seek are found. And lo, thou I, Wait, I don't know what brought you here. But I want you to hear me. He who has brought you here has a different plan. While Saul was looking for the father's ass, God had made up his mind to make him the captain over Israel. Maybe you are here looking for I don't know what. But God has a plan to promote you, to honor you, to bring you to a place where your presence shall command attention. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you, you remember in Abba the governor came in when miracles were going on and I offered him my microphone <laughs> he said with what I've seen here I can't touch that microphone I don't even want to stand near you I, I want to go away from you you are not one of us by what will happen tonight, God will introduce you to those who don't know you. Yeah. Read on, sir. Then shalt thou go on forward from thence, and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor. And there shall meet thee three men going up to God to Bethel, one carrying three kids, and another carrying three loaves of bread and another carrying a bottle of wine, and they will salute thee. Wait, wine speaks of financial wealth. Wine speaks of anointing. Wine speaks of you becoming a commander of God's riches and God's wealth. I don't know anybody ready for that type of promotion. Are you, are you sure? <laughs> but there are things you cannot do. There are things you cannot do. I had, when I, I had growing in toenail. At that time, I didn't believe in drugs. So I used to, I, I used to bandage the wound. My sister saw me and said, my friend, you are not a preacher. You cannot wear rubber slippers and, and walk into the pulpit to preach. Come, let's operate on you. And I said only on one condition. I don't want any anesthesia. He asked me, will you endure the pain? I told her I will. <laughs> I don't know how I survived the pain. I hope nobody here will require an anesthesia. As God begins to prone you and polish you and make you the gentleman he wants you to be. Whatever he wants you to give up, give it up. Including relationships, give it up. Find a way you don't behave well, give it up. And please don't defend yourself. Just say to God, I'm sorry. I will change. Because it will lead to your own promotion. Read on, sir. They will salute thee and Number give one, he said, the people you will see, they will salute you. And give to salute you is a mark of honor. 
And even you don't greet everybody. If somebody looks a, a, a social class lower than yours, will you greet him? No. If a small boy walks your way, will you greet him first or will you expect him to greet you first? Which one? Eh? You want the small boy to greet you first. But beginning today, you are going to carry a measure of favor, a, me a measure of honor Amen. that will make even your elders to greet you. Amen. No, let's run to the book of Job chapter 29. We'll take verse 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I As want to I show you what I mean. I was in the days of my youth. As it, it, it was in the days of my when youth. When the secret of God was upon my What you are hearing tonight is what we call the secrets of the Lord. When and, and no man is ever promoted unless he has been blessed with the secrets of the Lord. That's what you're learning tonight. If God will promote you, he has to polish you and make and change your dress and give you a, a better dress. He will, he will prune your character and make you become a disciplined, trained, polished man. Yes, go on. When the Almighty was yet with me. When the Almighty was yet when with me. When my children were about me. When my children were about when me. When I washed my steps with butter. I was so, he was so rich that others washed their steps with water. He washed his own with butter. I don't know if we have anybody in this house who would like to wash his house with butter, not water. God, which is more expensive, butter or water? water. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I'm looking forward to the day I will see you polish your, your floor with butter and make it shine. Wow. Read on, sir. And the rock poured me out rivers of oil. Uh, it, uh, have, do you know there are people who bed scented water, others bath tap water. Which one do you prefer? Let me hear you. Make a choice now. <laughs> I led the first lady to Christ and she gave me a, um, a, a, a scent, a perfume she paid 5,000 pounds to buy. Small bottle. I said to God, Father, I have not used this perfume. You have blessed somebody so much that she can spend 5,000 pounds to buy this little perfume. The woman said to me, Oma, stop. This, the fragrance of this perfume will last one week per drop. Wow. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> Do I have anybody who would like God to bring him to a place where you can have that type of perfume? One drop will last one week. I don't know whether you know, it also equals uh, the measure of anointing you can carry. There is, there is a, a measure of anointing that in your presence, no gun can detonate. Where we were in, uh, where were we? Gombe. And Boko Haram boys came with the, with the, grenade. And the grenade did not detonate. <laughs> On our return to you, they called me and asked me, why didn't our grenade detonate? We'd like to fly into you and sit with you and have you tell us why guns cannot detonate in your presence. In the media, the mafia born. Nini medio, di mafiu bon a di nyanga. Nini medio, di mafiu bon. Nini medio, di mafiu bon a di nyanga. Nini medio, di mafiu bon. Nini medio, nini medio, nini medio, di mafiu bon a di nyanga. Nini medio, di mafiu bon. Give me dio, di no fiu bon a di yanga. Give me dio, di no fiu bon. Give me dio, di no fiu bon a di yanga. Give me dio, di no fiu bon. Give me dio.
for the father's ass God was busy planning how to promote it sometimes we don't even know God has interest in our welfare and that God thinks about us and God has a plan to promote us to a place of honor a place of distinction a place where you become distinguished this night while you are thinking about your little rent <laughs> While they are wondering how to pay your rent, God is planning how to make you the captain of his people. Right where you are this night, God is busy putting circumstances together that shall catapult you to a place of honor and promotion. Read on, sir. We are back to Job. Yes, go on. Let's hear from Job. When I went out to the gate, Job the said city, when he went out to the city gate, when I prepared my when seat he prepared the street, his seat, the young men saw young men me saw him and hid themselves and hid themselves and the aged arose. Old men saw him and, and stood, stood up. up and offered the seats to him. The princess refrained. Princess talking. saw him and stopped talking. And wait, 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 wait! Do I have anybody here who would like to get to that position? Where small boys will see you and they'll shut up their mouth. Before my father-in-law died, I was with him in his parlor. Two, three women came in. One said to her friend, this man is too handsome. If I don't sleep with him, I won't allow him to die. Her friend said to her, can't you see Reverend Omar here? And you're saying this stupid thing. You're a silly girl. She said, let ah, Reverend suspend me. But that will be after I must have slept with this man. Her friend got up and pulled her nose up and said, if you not hear the warning of our first friend, I'm going to slap you. Respect this man of God. 
He said, Father, forgive me if I've committed sin, but I like the man. <laughs> You will come to a place where your presence will command small boys to shut up their mouth. Yeah. Wow. Go on, sir. Huh? The nobles peace. held their peace. And their mouth cleaved onto the roof of their mouth. Their tongue, rather. Yes, sir. When the ear heard about him, beginning tonight, when ears shall hear about you, they will call you blessed of the Lord. I don't know if you know the way you are the way you dress determines how people will address you. <laughs> you don't have to tell people your name because your dress, your shoes are designed to introduce you. We're flying to Meduguri. A man who was on flight with us say, asked me, who are you? I, I want to know you. And I said, sir, I'm an ordinary Nigerian passing through Nigeria. He said, but your shoes, hey, my shoes were made in Aba. Um, made in Aba shoes are very cheap. He said, no, no, no. Tell me, uh, have, you had your, have you broken your fast? What does that mean? Do they fast here? The man said, yes, we are on fast at where I come from. We eat three times a day. We don't fast. The man said, I was the former federal minister for the federal capital. I'll give you land to build in Abuja. Hey, Oga, where I come from, we don't build in Abuja. <laughs> he said, okay, I'll give you two copies of Koran. Three copies of Koran. I'm not allowed to touch any Koran. The man asked me, again, who are you? Can you leave me alone? I am just an ordinary man. And I, as we flew into my degree, one pastor said to him, this man lays his hand on you. All the sicknesses you would have suffered in 20 years' time will just leave you alone. If he lays his hands the second time, money will follow you. The man sat on the floor and said, I'll go nowhere until you lay your hand on me. <laughs> Beginning tonight, God will so bless you that your presence shall command attention. He said, Men, all men offered him their seats. Wow. Well, let's go back to First Samuel. You stopped at chapter 10. You stopped at verse 4. They will salute thee. They will salute you. And give thee two loaves of bread. They will give you, listen to me, those people who just don't like you, whatever they are this night, God will now compel them to honor you. They will not insult you again. Rather, they will greet you. They will not only greet you, they will give you gifts. That means your favor has increased. By my spoken word tonight, your favor has increased. It has increased. It has increased. It has increased. Hey, you, you don't give gifts to everybody. Anybody you give gifts to might be somebody you respect and admire. Somebody you can relate to and people that you have feeling for them and respect for them. Beginning tonight, your presence shall command attention. Yeah. Wow. Read on, sir. Thou shall, which thou shalt receive of their hands. Yes. After that, thou shalt come to the hill of God, where is the garrison of the Philistines. And it shall come to pass, shall come to pass. When thou art come thither to the city yes. That thou shalt meet a company of prophets yes. Coming down from the high place With a satry yes. The tablet and the pipe They have before them And they shall prophesy They will prophesy. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee And thou shalt prophesy with them I, I want you to hear me I, I hope we, I, 
What is uh, Dr. Pabio? We will still have time. I'd like to stop the meeting and we'll continue next week. Where are you? Continue. Because uh, today I'm going to pray for those who have not received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And they will join us to speak in tongue this night. Do I have anybody who would like to speak in tongue this night? <laughs> Samuel said to Saul, when the prophets shall begin to prophesy, you will join them. Tonight, by my ministration to you, you are going to hear yourself speak in tongue. Amen. Don't worry about the meaning. It's between you and God. But that will show you you can reach the commander-in-chief in your hour of need. Every time you're in trouble, you can speak in tongue, and God will send reinforcement to fight for you, beginning tonight. When I used to smuggle Bible to China, they asked me to place my boxes on the machines. If I had more than one copy of the Bible, the machine would expose me. That meant I'll be jailed for 20 years. I began to speak in tongue. There are five machines packed up. The presiding course officer came to me and asked me, who are you? Are you a native doctor from Africa? Our machines are packed up. What did you do? Hey, if you don't want real trouble, allow me to continue with my journey. Don't ask me stupid questions. I am more dangerous than a native doctor. The man said, we can, I can see. Five machines have packed up. You must be a dangerous man. Continue with your journey. This is one of the things God will do for you. When you are the crossroad of life, the middle road of life, and you don't know what to do, your speaking in tongues shall send reinforcement to you. And the angels will show no mercy. Already, let's see Second Kings chapter 19, verse 30, 32. Wow. I want to show you what one angel can do for you. One angel. Yes, sir. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come unto this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shield, nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came by the same way shall he return, and shall not come into this city, save the Lord. For I will defend this city to save it for my own sake. Wait. For... God will defend you for his own sake. They didn't hear me. Beginning tonight, you don't need to fight your battles again. <laughs> my brother took my name to a native doctor on the way out of the man's house. The leader died. They said I gave a ram to kill the man. Hey, we don't play at that level. We have somebody who fight for us. We don't soil our hands. We only watch as observers. Read on, sir. For I'll defend this city. I'll defend this city. It. Right where you are, God will defend you. Yeah. And God has already promised he will kill people because of you. Yeah. Wow. Read on, sir. And it came to pass it that came to night pass that, that the night. angel of the Lord went out yes. and smote in the camp of the Assyrians yes. and hundred fourth score and hundred fourth score, that is... One angel killed 185,000 people in one night. Now, if that angel is assigned to you, are you not, would it not be too dangerous? Huh? I don't know how many people live in your village. I don't have to 185,000. That means one angel can kill all of them. <laughs> wow. Awesome God. Awesome God. When the governor of Borno State asked me not to come to Medugri, 
that the Boko Haram boys were determined to kill me. I said to your excellency, if God wants me to die in my degree, why do you want to postpone it? Um, we'll be there. Let them come. Power will meet with power. The lesser power shall bow to the greater power. Men and brethren, all that I and Pastor Joe did was sing an ordinary common chorus. And the cripples began to walk with their wheelchairs. What made me laugh was one of the men that watched that miracle was in New York a few weeks ago. He saw me eat at the Le Meridian Hotel. And he began to shout and tell people, this man is not a human being, this man. He sang and crippled began to dance with the witches. Everybody come, this man is, can you shut up your mouth, stupid man? What do you think you're doing? He said, oh God, they think you're a human being. You are not. <laughs> By my spoken word tonight, when the power of God shall come upon you, you will become a miracle worker. A miracle worker. A miracle worker. Can you raise your hand and shout hallelujah at somebody? You know, some of the hotel workers said to him, he's a human being. We know him. He's, he, he eats here regularly. He eats Gary. He's a human being. <laughs> and, I got up, washed my hand, and left the place. Don't forget what I've just said now. You are going to be, at the end of our program, these two weeks, you are going to become a miracle worker. Are you still there? Read on, sir. What are we? And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. <laughs> I, many of you have never seen God fight, fight your battles. By the time we shall be through with this teaching and prayer for you, you will now see God take over your battles and fight for you. We went to Oko. We'll be going back to Oko this year. The native doctor threatened to deal with me. I like trouble because my middle name is Trouble. I said to them, when I say, to am mama, your juju forest shall go up in flames and will burn for 21 days nonstop. I want you to stop looking down on yourself. Stop saying I am nobody. Because Jesus died that you may be somebody. And by my spoken word tonight, you will soon be somebody. Amen. You'll be representing the government of God in heaven. Already the Bible calls you an ambassador. You have the privileges of an ambassador. The protection of an ambassador. The provision of an ambassador. And men and brethren, heaven will fight your every battle. Yeah. What are we? Let's go back to First Samuel. And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon thee. And this is where I am interested in. I'm going to ask everyone here to ask God to bring his Spirit upon you. Endure you with power. Can we see the book of Luke, chapter 49, verse 29? And behold, and behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. Right where you are tonight, God is telling you, His Spirit will send the promise. Jesus is telling you he'll send the Spirit, no, the promise of his Father to you. God has made a promise to you. Please find just one person, tell him or her, God has made a promise to you. 
Wait, what does that mean? It means you can do business with God. Eh? If you can do business with God, are you still a small boy? That means that heaven knows your name. <laughs> a native doctor calls me and says, God will punish you. And I say, with God. Because they don't even know you. Your name is not written anywhere. But do you know each one who is born again, your name is written somewhere. As a member of God's redeemed family, whoever throws a stone at you, God will respond. On your behalf. No, let's see the book of Acts chapter 12. Wow. Wow. Yes, sir. Now about that time, yes. Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. Yes. And kill James, the brother of Jesus. Kill John James, the Saul. brother of Jesus. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, yes. he proceeded further to take Peter also. He took Peter also. And when he had apprehended him, when he, apprehended he put him. him in prison. Yes. And delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending that after Easter to bring him forth to the people. And Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without season of the church prayer unto God. Prayer was made him. without season. When Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers. Peter was sleeping between two soldiers. Bound with two chains. Chains. The keepers before the door kept the prison. Yes. And behold, the angel behold. of the Lord came upon him. The what? The angel of the Lord came upon him. Came upon him. And a light shining in the prison. How many of you know? Let's see the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 14. You have an angel assigned to you. When you are in trouble, when you are at the war front of life, these angels will come to seek your release and to fight for you. Read on, sir. Are they not all they ministering, not all ministering spirits, spirits sent, sent forth to minister for, to minister for, them, for them that shall, shall be heirs dead. of salvation? If you're a born-again child of God, there's an angel assigned to you to fight your battles. That angel plus you will make yourself too dangerous for any enemy to handle. People look down on you, but they don't know who is standing behind you. Wow. Awesome God. Read on, sir. And he smote Peter on the side. He smote Peter. And raised him up. And raised him up. Saying, and saying, arise up arise. quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. You know why I like these angels? They don't use hammer to break chains. It will make noise. They, they just tell the, the chain, my friend, you are doing the wrong business. The person you're keeping here is a member of God's redeemed family. An ambassador of the government of God in heaven. I still here. Wow. That makes you what? Too dangerous. Because one angel can cause a lot of trouble and havoc. I still here. Why don't you raise your hand and shout hallelujah somebody? Hallelujah. Read on, sir. And the angel said unto him, Get thyself and bind on thy sandals. The dress so up. And so he did. He did. And he said unto him, yes. Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. And follow me. And yes, he sir. went out. He and went out. Followed him. No, they went out. And followed him. Yes. And wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, yes. but thought he saw a vision. And when yes. they were past the first and the second world, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. They, and, I, I don't know if you can. Imagine what an angel can do for you. The door they shut against you will open on its own. You won't have to play any role. I have been using that expression, we are too dangerous for an enemy to handle. And you people don't seem to understand it. But now you have heard that when an angel is escorting you, every door locked against you will on his own open. Yeah. When my brother took me to Umaha High Court, I didn't go with them. 
I didn't need to go with them. But some of them must have followed them. And that person must be an angel. And that angel frightened the judge. The judge asked, which woman are we talking about? So that one you know. The, the judge got angry and asked my brothers, because the man is from your place, your family, you're not afraid of him. I don't want to, people must be stupid and crazy. I don't want to die because of that man. Take the case to Ohafia where he comes from. They took the case to Ohafia. The judge there said to them, I married three months ago. I have not enjoyed the blessings of a good marriage. And you want me to die and leave my wife behind? Take it to Aaron. I hear my brother began to argue among themselves. Why are they afraid of that stupid boy? Me, do I know why they were afraid? If they had sent for me, I would have gone. But they were too afraid to send for me. That same spirit of God shall pick up your battles and fight for you. This night is a great night. My only problem is time. Our leader of service, I think he had two watches. I'm going to ask you to ask God to bless you with a new spirit. Let there be an endowment of power upon you. And I'm going to ask God to bless you with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And let's go to chapter 4. Chapter 2 of the book of Acts. Let's see verse 4. They were all filled with the. They were all filled with the. With what? The Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues. And they began to speak with other as tongues. As the Spirit gave them as utterance. As the Spirit gave them utterance. When we shall stand up to pray tonight, you are going to hear the Spirit of God give you your own language. It's, it's between you and God. We have no part to play. You hear that language. In 1972, when God was asking me to step out on full-time ministry, I ran away from Calabar, went to Ekit to, to worship. While I was in that service, a woman began to speak in my dialect. I thought she was from my village. <sighs> she said, God said the Lord, don't you know God can pay you more than your company can pay you? In my language, why are you afraid? Fear not, for God is with you. Stop running away. You ran from Calabar to Ekit because you are afraid God will not pay you well. He will take good care of you. He's richer than your company. After the service, I went to her and asked her, are you from where? She asked me, who? I said, you. She said, I'm from Ekit. Where did you learn to speak my language? She asked me, was I speaking your language? Look at this woman. You were speaking in my dialect. She said, hey. I thought I was speaking in tongue. I didn't know I was speaking to you. <laughs> the Bible says you can't run away from this God. If you go to heaven, he's there. You go to hell, he's there. Run to a kid, he's there. Awesome God. I'm going because of time. Maybe we're going to do the anointing service next week. Whoever will be our leader of service next week, please keep to time. Help us to start on time. This night, uh, if you have been filled already, I want God to refill you. Yeah. And we stand up. Let's say to God, Holy Spirit, be my comfort.
comforter, Holy Spirit, take control. As I walking along the way, the road is so narrow. Holy Spirit, be my guide. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control. As I'm walking along the way, the road is so narrow. Holy Spirit, be my guide. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control. As I walk in along the way, the road is so narrow. Holy Holy Spirit, take control. As I'm walking along the way, the road is so narrow. Holy Spirit, be my guide. Father, everyone that has not received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, let his or her miracle start now. Start now. Start now. Start now. Start now. Let none leave this cathedral as an ordinary person. Let the endowment of your power be your children's gift. 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 And Father, when they speak, let heaven respond. When they want help, let heaven respond. Father, endure everyone within the reach of my voice. And let each one know how to communicate with you without any demon hearing what two of you are discussing. Father, let every sin be forgiven. Every mistake be canceled. Father, bless your children. Anoint them. Anoint them sufficiently, fittingly, and adequately. Father, let a new spirit come upon them. Let your anointing break every yoke, every yoke, every yoke, every yoke. Every year, Kuria Masarama, Kuria Masantarama, thou Spirit of God, arise. Let there be a transformation. 
change your people. Let your spirit come upon them. Can you speak in tongue if you can?